width should be 7 meter 7.5 meter like that after that service load profiles also very 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 important okay so be aware while doing the profiles okay you can have a look how much uh, service roads are important okay this is a grade separated uh, junction okay you can you see normal main carriageway and then see, service road okay entry and then okay here normal junction okay this here we need to check that turning moment the options okay and then exit service road exit okay so like this only in the uh, while left service road entry okay and check turning moment and then and one more thing you have to check here also the turning moment options and clearance also means must be follow the as per the requirement okay structure uh, type and uh, clearance all those things will come okay so this is very very important okay so normal cross section main layer and earthwork then normal okay tow line something tow wall then normal thing service route okay see so and then we'll go to the Service roads are very very important. Okay, now next surface drainage. Surface drainage is nothing but means uh, provision of the uh, drains, roadside drains, means type of drains and uh, what will be preferable that you have to decide with uh, discussion with the drainage team. Okay, so effective drainage system shall be planned for the drainage of roadway, including median, medians also, and toll plazas and bus stops near to that area also we need to uh, plan a proper drainage system okay? otherwise so many problems will occur uh, when the rain occurs okay? okay so then the following types of drain shall be provided surface drainage of roadway and row in built up areas normally rcc covered drains to minimize the row requirement like that and uh, service roads also we used to provide in the built up areas so to cover thing rcc drainage means reinforced cement concrete covered drains okay then box also hmm. and then pipe drains also will be provided but uh, in a normal rural area or uh, open country we can provide the uh, earth, earth and drains okay and then in super elevated sections appropriate arrangement of drain out water of a raised carriage shall be made see that's why I told you, super elevation is a very important highway design element so these are all highway design elements okay you must be aware means how to proceed in this situations okay then combination of longitudinal drains and uh, drains will be provided at high embankments okay when high embankments will occur you have to provide this type of drains okay and then wayside amenities Wayside amenities are very much very very important okay nothing but uh, toll plaza bus shelters and truck labels so these follows as per the layout provided in the means normal circulars or codes also there are separate section in the code uh, each manual each manual so how how the layout should be like that i will show you a simple layout in a google earth let's have a look pass with flyover here you can see toll plaza normal main carriageway and payment design also different okay mostly rigid payment we used to provide because of heavy load okay so you can you see this is the layout okay you have to follow the layout okay buildings we need buildings also we need to look um, draw not a and we need to provide it okay 
toll plaza layout is very very important like this we have to provide for the truck layouts and bus space okay there are separate layouts in the codes and the tapper we need to provide while entering the bus shelter or entering the truck layout okay there are some standards of tapper you can uh, uh, use it and you can apply in a template or parameter constraint or line mode whatever okay and then utility corridor utility corridor minimum of 2 meter wide at extreme edge of row shall be kept for accommodating utilities not norm nothing but ofc cables okay and uh, some different utilities whatever electric utilities for that also we need to give a space of 2 meter at the end of row that's why while preparing a cross section itself you have to add it the 2 meter at the end and make it the as per the row okay so provisions irc 98 Okay. and then safety apparatus is nothing but that crash barriers and vehicle restraint systems okay that you need to be care okay while doing the uh, design of the uh, barriers and type of provisions okay we need to submit the uh, miscellaneous drawings also safety apparatus okay and then 150 meter both side of the all major bridges okay this is metal beam crash barrier means uh, instructions this is just simple means uh, uh, standards we need to follow and then 50 meter on both side of the all minor bridges if you observe it uh, while traveling on the road you can observe this uh, metal beam crash barriers at these locations okay and then embankment height where greater than three meter there we need to provide okay and short curves where less than 450 meter radius these are some sim four instructions and one more thing between the main carriage and service road that also you must be follow okay okay then slow protection so ultimate thing is uh, uh, even a high embankment is there and a normal slope protection one in two or one in uh, 2.5 means uh, side slopes that should be uh, protected and uh, we have to follow some standards we can't provide as much as flat or as much as steep so we need to follow some standard okay the side slope shall be protected against erosion by providing a suitable vegetative vegetative cover okay and then curb channel stone air cement concrete block pitching or any other suitable protection measures depending on the height of the embankment and susceptibility of the soil to erosion with the geotechnical team also we have to means uh, 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 you have to discuss and uh, decide the side slopes whether it should be 1 in 2 or 1 in 2.5 okay most of the things will be 1 in 2.5 or 1 in 2 only okay steep slopes normally avoided okay. Okay. for embankments higher than 6 meter the design, design of embankment shall be done accordance with the IRC 75 okay so then final one road markings and traffic signs so this should be follow as per the codes no need to worry about that there is a detailed explanation over the uh, in the in the codes in the codes itself you can refer it they have given detailed explanation means how much spacing we need to provide from white line to white line and then signs also where we need to keep give a signs stop signs where we need to keep and from how much distance we need to keep that also they have given separate layouts also okay that you can refer these codes Okay. accordingly you have to design so that's it guys the main the main thing highway design elements is this okay so these are the factors affect the highway design okay so be sure while uh, designing all these things okay i hope you understood the basic concept of this video thanks for watching please subscribe my channel and encourage me, me to do more videos thanks for watching